Haubitzen nehmen entferntere Ziele unter Feuer. Ganze Teile von Jonava stehen bereits in hellen Flammen. Aber der Feind verteidigt sich mit Zähigkeit und will seine Stellung nicht aufgeben. Die Stadt wird umgangen. Ein Ausfall der Bolschewisten soll diese Operation verhindern. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Decisive Campaigns with me, Lord Cucumber. Operation Barbarossa. Okay, so we have left the last turn. And as you can see, uh, some stuff has happened. We've actually been sort of kicked in the ass here. Um, there was a... One of my units was... Well, it didn't surrender, but it fell back apparently. And... Somehow they've managed to resupply here at Army Group Center. And... We're gonna grab Odessa as quickly as we can. If we can. <laughs> if indeed we can. But we should be doing that pretty soon. Okay. So what I'm guessing is... Um, that these things here, I, I think I guessed that last time, are actual defenses along the river. Which is gonna make it more difficult to get around this whole situation. They've actually reinforced all of this. So, with this knocked out bridge at Riga, we're gonna have to have no choice but to attack Jakobstadt in uh, Jakobstadt instead. Uh, but before we do any of that, we need to take care of these bitches. Let's see. Their experience is okay. Their morale is dropping somewhat. Their readiness is also dropping somewhat. But they are still pretty well ready to rock and roll. Our morale is actually slightly higher. But not much. Our readiness is okay. And our experience is pretty darn good. So I guess I'm going to use these panzers to crush resistance here. Because, well, they're not moving anywhere at the moment. Um... Until we do. So that motorized stuff needs to happen. Um, and we're going to use the rest of the 18th army. Which actually have all these nice decision cards now. Um, to move on. Oh wait a minute. Is that? No that's the green army. I'm not talking about anything like. Okay that's fine. That's all cool. Um, these guys are the 11th army headquarters. Which is cool. Which we should totally crush. Because without a headquarters these guys are gone so basically what we want to do is attack this stack here we'll start with that and I guess we'll use these two there we are we'll use the uh, yeah the Panzer Grenadiers for that attack yeah they both panicked and they're gone perfect so that's done and now we can move these two units up towards the um, towards the line. There we go. And um, see if the fourth Panzer Group can dislodge this unit. Obviously, that's gonna be a thing. Oh my God, that's forest. I hate forest. Once units are in it, are you in the forest as well? No, you're in sort of the grasslands. So basically, what we could try and do is push you out. With these armored units. That might be best. There we go. This is sort of an even battle. Okay, they're retreating. Good job. And what we could do is now cut them off with motorized units, I guess. I don't know if these guys are in actual forest. What kind of terrain are they in? Can I see? They're in plains. Really? That's interesting. Good to know, too. I guess what we could do is just isolate them with these motorized units. And then say, okay. I'll get rid of this. Attacking with this, hopefully. 43 versus 50. That is not good. What if we 
I've got a cat here who's really being naughty. <laughs> ah, ha 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 ha. I saw what you did there, game. Okay, alright. But that's okay. You know, that is fine. Yeah, we're gonna use these two armored guys to attack these border guards and NKVD and whatnot. We'll do it. Oh, wait, that's one unit. Crap. Ah, retreated. Yeah, I can imagine. That was not what I intended. Did the piecemeal thing again, but it doesn't matter. We still have one unit and we're gonna get them. Basically, the opportunity to panic two of those units. There we go. Two of those units are completely panicked. Can we still attack you with two units? Yes, we can. We'll do that. They're in the forest, though. That's not good. Retreating, retreating. Where are you retreating to? That corner. I didn't know you could retreat there. I would have gone there if I had known. <laughs> okay. So they're in a forest now. Panzers are generally not very good at forest things. But alright, we'll go and do that. There we are, panicked. And we've taken care of business. Uh, okay, let's make sure that this is all cleaned up. There we go. Alright, move you up to this hill area. I like that. That's fine. No, you can stay right there. That's actually pretty good. So, now we can finally get these green guys going. <laughs> these green guys, just listen to me. It's like I know what I'm talking about, and I really don't. Um... Apparently they have some some movement issues. Okay. I need to get these units up there. Into this gap. Oh, we have Totenkopf left. I forgot about those. Those are actually really useful in this case. Because what we could do is maneuver ourselves in between these units. And still have something to attack with. In fact... There are a couple of motorized units here that could work together doing that. There we go. So let's see what we can do. Yes, there we are. This will do rather nicely. They're retreating. Wonderful. This unit is NKVD. Which will, in and of itself, move over, I, I guess. Green units going there. Going to move the, um, the green headquarters up a little bit. There we go. So we can give everyone supplies. This unit is also part of the green army. And they're actually ready to assault that position in front of them. I might do that. Then again. That might not be our best move right now. I might want to exploit this and try and get to Duneburg instead. Can we move that way? Hmm. Pretty difficult. These are three divisions, and this is like also. <gasps> I'm sorry. Three divisions! I had to burp there. Wow. Um, and these are a tank unit and an infantry unit that we do not know very well, I must say. So, I. I think what we should do is move everything up here. This is probably not a very good way of doing things, but you know what? We're doing it. I'd really like to take care of business over here. So if I move over here with all of these units. Yes. Attack all. So all these should be attacking. Okay, they all retreated. Good job. Can we still maneuver in? Yes, we can. With all of them? Well, not possibly all of them, but... This is pretty good. I'll say. And then, what we could technically do... Move you around here. And have this unit attacked by... Whoa. That is a large stack. Do it. Alright, they retreated. Uh, these guys ran out of action points. 
And we actually cut them off. Cool. I didn't expect that to work that well. <laughs> but alright. I suppose... I'd really like to get rid of this... Somehow. It's difficult. And, and make my way to Jacobstad. I really need to punch through that line. That's what I need to do here. So moving this unit up here. What else? Who can move? You can move up here. Can you? None of you can move. No, you can. Oh, wow. You, you actually can still attack. Okay, nice. That is really good news. Because that means we may be able to push through this unit with all three of these. Okay, cool. Panic, panic, retreat it, retreat it. Look at that. So we're pushing them out. Motorized units now moving up. Uh, okay, that might not be the best idea here. What about you? Okay, no. <laughs> okay, you can still do something. You could cut them off. Ideally, I'd like to... Yeah, okay, there's not going to be much movement in that force. I'm not sure about the quality of these men. 8200 men, 8200... Yeah, they're still pretty much in the right spot there to... Do some serious damages. Okay. So these, these units have now scattered... Which is a good thing. I'm really not quite sure how to see this. This is 400 men, 50 tanks, 5 T-34s, 4,000 men, 44, 1,000 and 1,800. 1,000 and this is 6,400 men. They have a decent chance of damaging the stack. I think. These are motorized units, after all. They're used to doing this sort of spearheading. Ah, that's it. That's all we could do. Nope. Not gonna do much. We lost 200 men in that attack, but I guess they lost some men. Didn't they? Mm, not really. Mm. Then there's these cutoff units. Question being, of course, can we attack them and panic them? Oh, we have the 30th Infantry also ready to attack. Ah, by all means, give it a go. Panic, panicked. There we go. They're gone. We messed them up and they have left the line. Really good news for us. We're going to have to give these guys a rest, though. Some time to heal up. They're not doing so well. They are not doing so well. They need to rest up. But I think that's it for now. Unless this unit could... No, they can't. Okay, what about you? What is... What is... What kind of units are we talking here? Garrison of 25 tanks. Tanks generally not very good. 10,000 men. 20... 12,000 men. Okay, not as good. Not good at all, actually. 7,000 men there. Totenkopf, I guess you should hold this forest. Since they cannot ac attack across the bridge, they're going to have to use action points to get across this bridge. And then mess these guys up, or rather, um, take hold of that situation there. So that's good. Uh, what about these guys? No, they're actually really quite strong. Damn it. Um, when these guys are the next obstacle. But we are creeping closer. It's been 12 days into this campaign and we have reached Duneburg. Well, the outskirts. And they have two bridges. Only have to take one, then roll in. Cut off the rest of these troops. Hopefully, if they don't, don't have a huge, <laughs> a huge uh, presence there. Which they might. That's still a risk I, I, I run. And, um, okay, I'm just going to leave these guys here. They need to rest, really. Can we play that card? Is that uh, one of the rest? Let's see. Inspire, Maneuver, Envelopment. Request that all divisions advance rapidly and attempt to encircle formations. 
flanks. Tactical flexibility. We have 12 points this turn. Well, I'm guessing I'm not using those cards just yet. Could do that, but... It wouldn't be in my best interest to do that now, I think. I think we are okay for the time being. Let's have a look if there is any decisions we need to make for this particular... Um, there we are. Exploit oil fields. As a result of Austrian Anschluss, you have availability of small oil fields that are in a poor state of development. Petroleum geologists have calculated that we could increase the current production of 3.8 million barrels a year over 12 million barrels a year in a reasonable period. This is a no-brainer. Support the initiative. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. There we go. That's us. Unexpected fuel use. Quartermasters in all three theaters have reported unexpectedly high fuel use by our mechanized divisions. That's what was causing the pile of shit that I've been experiencing. <laughs> the figures before me are astounding, if not unbelievable. I've demanded verification of the facts before bringing this matter to your attention. They've been burning their shit, their latrines, and probably burning villages for fun or whatever. I don't know. It appears that the situation is as bad as indicated by the reports. Our fuel expenditure is unsus unsustainable. I strongly recommend issuing orders to all mechanized division requiring a more measured advance to minimize fuel use. I will go with that if I can. Maintain offensive momentum or avoid excessive maneuvering. Fuel efficiency is the key. Yes. I do believe that is the key. There we are. How is that gonna... Yeah, it's gonna give Posen an idea that I'm doing well. Fast efficient Blitzkrieg bonus now 30 at 50. Okay. Signaling AGS. Initial analysis has been determined. There's a sphere shortage. Rills. Oh god. Rills. Leave to the Eisenbahn troop. 75% chance of a bad outcome but we have to because we don't have the points crap we don't have the points should have checked that we're gonna take that decision now since there's no other op option we have right now this could turn out bad conflicting orders have confused the Eisenbahn troop but they will attempt to do their best York is unimpressed poor relationship and construction battalion efforts Less. 30. Previously. 207. Well, that's terrible. For now. Pressure from above. I'm afraid I can no longer support your initiative, von Braukic. The Fuhrer has been adamant that you should be reined in. I have been holding the line on your behalf for quite some time. Unfortunately, I feel the lack of necessary faith in your abilities to continue to do so. Well, wonderful, von Braukic. As instructed by the Fuhrer, I've issued a series of orders designed to curtail your activities. <laughs> this could go very, very badly. I've endeavored to water these down, such as the effect could be manageable, but you must consider yourself on notice for further, more punitive <laughs> sanctions if you continue to disappoint me. Okay. Let's see. Apologize. Take a neutral stance. An even-handed approach would be best. I don't have the option to apologize. Von Braukic, what happens when I do this? Do nothing and say nothing and hopefully the damage will be kept in a minimum. Yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping so. Okay, atrocity suffered. It's a sad indictment of modern war that such things happen. The following commander has had a sorry tale to relate. General Major Huber, commander of the 16th Panzer Division, 1st Panzer Group Headquarters. Professionals fight wars adhering to a set well of well understood rules. Okay, apparently the Bolsheviks haven't informed, been informed of these. Perhaps they have to, and choose to ignore them. Either way, you are obligated to acknowledge the incident and communicate the empathy to the commander and his men. Anything less would be a dereliction of your duty. Follow Okay. What should we do, and how can we? I only have five political points. Super. I'm gonna have to cover the incident up. I'm sorry. 
Von Rundstedt isn't happy, Herr Feldmarschall. Yes, the political climate isn't favorable for stories such as these to surface, but we do not have an obligation to do the right thing. He's unimpressed. My relationship, his relationship with me is neutral still, so that's not terrible. Well, that's, those were the decisions for this turn. Holy crap. Political points are not very high right now. Uh, von Gerke, yeah, he doesn't like us because of the train issue. Well, you know, that's gonna happen. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me yet again. Uh, we're creeping towards Jakobstadt and Duneburg, but we're gonna get there eventually. Um, see you on the next one. Please leave a like and or comment. And if you haven't done so already, already please subscribe. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.